kept together force and pressure part 2 in a previous part we saw what is force and how we have to apply the force on the different objects in this part we will see how force can change the shape of an object as you know that what happens when you apply a force on an inflated balloon by pressing it between your palms it can be a little bit twitch and it can change the shape as you have already done the experience second what happens to the shape of the ball of dough when it is rolled to make a chapati what happens when you press a rubber ball placed on a table <coughs> in all these examples you show that the application of the force on an object may change its shape this you have already done in your regular or day to day life when you apply the force on some object what will happen it can change the shape but not in all the condition in this table 11.2 you can see description of the situation in lump of dough on a plate pressing it down with your hand what will happen the action of force change in the state of motion or change in the shape this table you have to do by yourself okay and when you are sitting on the seat what happens to your back and to the cycle seat okay it can be pressed same thing a rubber band suspended from the hook in this diagram you can see it is little bit stretch it has also changed the shape but when you release it it will again come into the original position and in the last diagram you can see there is a plastic or a metal scale placed between the two bricks or the two object when we apply some forces between that it is little bit bent okay so in this table you can easily understand when we are applying force though we are applying force with our fist on the cycle seat we are applying force on our body rubber band we are applying force with your with our hands and in this last plastic scales or metal scales we are applying force with putting some pressure in this all case we are changing the shape but in some condition we are not changing the shape that will see continue while a force may cause one or more of the effect it is important to remember that none of this action can take place without the action of forces that means without any kind of forces action will not be happen to any kind of action we have to apply a minimum force this an object cannot move by itself as we have already seen in the previous slide it cannot change the speed of itself it cannot change direction by itself and its shape cannot change it by itself that means object cannot do any kind of activity or performance without applying any type of forces neither moving neither stopping or neither changing their shapes now as you know that there are various kind of forces what are the various kind of forces that will see Okay, first muscular force. In this muscular force, can you push or lift a book lying on the table without touching it? Can you lift a bucket or water without holding it? The answer is no. So you have to apply your muscle power. That means you have to apply with your hand or something else to push or pull or to hold that object. generally to apply force on an object your body has to be in contact with the object and the contact may also be with the help of a stick or a piece piece of a rope that means any object must have to be contact with the other object with any kind of material like it may be our hand it may be any kind of rope it may be any kind of stick so it is to be in the contact muscular force is a contact force because two object must be contact to do some action so when we push an object like a school bag or lift a bucket of a bot where does the force come from this is caused by the action of muscles in our body that means if we have power 
then only we can apply the force. If we do not have any power, we cannot apply any forces. The force resulting due to the action of muscle is known as the mus muscular force. That means, if a strong boy can lift easily 10 kg of the any kind of bag, but a weak boy cannot lift at least 5 kg weight of the any kind of object. That means, to lift heavy object, we require very light nice muscle power. So, the muscle power is applying on the muscular force or to move any kind of heavy uh, things or heavy material. Animals also make us to muscular force to carry out their physical activities and the, and the other tasks. You know that animals have more power than the human. Okay? So, we are using animal to carry the load like donkeys, cow, bullocks, all these things, all these animals we are using our day to day life earlier. Nowadays, uh, this animals replace that the sorry machines replace the animals correct since muscular force can be applied only when it is in contact with an object it is also called contact force so without contact muscular force will not work so muscular force is also called a contact force animals also make us of muscular force to carry out their physical activities and other tasks. Animals like bullocks, horse, donkeys and camels are used to perform various tasks for us. In the performing this task, they use muscular force. In this figure you can see, this you can see in our day to day life. Uh, in our city, you cannot see this kind of animals are carrying the load, but if you are just going to the village you can see there are different kind of the animals they are using that so we are using for our regular purpose since muscular force can be applied only when it is in contact with the object it is also called the contact force are there any other type of contact force let's see yeah. other contact force is friction as you know that we cannot walk in the air but we can walk on the floor that means while walking or while running a bicycle or a scooter it, it must be contact with the floor clear so this is called friction because some of your experience all while running along the ground gradually slow down and finally comes to rest as you know that when the ball is rolling or the cycle is rolling after some time it is gradually slow and at the one point, it will be stopped. Okay? Same like that, a car or scooter comes to the rest once an engine is switched off. Similarly, a boat comes to rest if we stop the rowing. Can you add some more such experience? We can. In all this situation, no force appears to be acting on the object. Yet, the speed gradually decreases. As you know that, if we are not pedaling the cycle, what will happen? We are not applying the force. So, if there is no force is there, then also some, after some distance, the cycle will stop because of the friction. So, what cause of change in the state of motion? Could some force acting be on them? Yes. Can you give the children, sorry, direction in which the force must be acting in each case? Yes, it is exactly the opposite force. Non-contact force. Here, non-contact force is one kind of magnetic force as you know that. Electrostatic force and gravitational force. All these things you may have little bit knowledge. Magnetic force, you have already experienced with the magnet. Okay, if you put some magnet around us and if we try to get some nails near it, what will happen? A nail will automatically aggregate by the magnetic force. Clear? Electrostatic force is something like that. When the electricity passes through the wire, some magnetic force is basically produced. And due to that magnetic force, the electrostatic force is also carry or attract some other material. And gravitational force, you have already familiar with that. Earth has the gravitational force. Whatever the things you send upward and the force upward, it will come down automatically on the ground. 
this is applied by the gravitational force by the earth correct the force responsible for changing the state of motion of object in all these examples is called friction right now ball and ground that brings the moving ball that brings similarly friction between water and the boat brings it to stop once you stop roping yes the force of friction always acts on all that moving object and its direction is always opposite to the direction of motion this was the previous slide that means why the friction is there when the friction is there the opposite force is basically applying on the any kind of object means the force of the frictions arise due to contact between surface it is also an example of a contact force clear the friction is also a contact force 